In this experiment, the sweet apple goes in box 1. Miles apart, another apple that is sweet and sour goes in box 2. 3, 2, 1, kaboom! Now you can see that the apple in box 1 has disappeared. And in box 2, the sweet and sour apple has turned sweet. How? So how did the apple in box 1 disappear? And how did the apple in box 2 turn sweet? This experiment was an analogy of quantum teleportation. Hey guys, my name is Anirudh. Ani for short. Today I'm going to talk about quantum teleportation. So, okay. The big question here is, what in the world is quantum teleportation? What is it? Imagine an atom of a pizza perhaps, <laughs> which has a nucleus and an electron. Electrons have a property called spin. No, they don't actually spin. They do have angular momentum, so the terminology here is pretty much correct. So what it does is, it teleports the properties of one particle to the other, such as spin. Isn't it fascinating? Okay, so important points here. The no chlorine theorem, number two. The method to conduct this experiment, under which a quantum entanglement, and be the derivation of these methods. None of three doesn't work by saying, Beam me up, Scotty. Wait, it doesn't work. Huh? Anyway, moving on. The no cloning theorem. The number one. This theorem says that no two objects or particles can exist which has exact proportions and properties of each other. So is it a problem to us now? No. Because... In quantum teleportation, when the information is extracted from the object, the object will destroy this process. Think of it like this. To get the full taste of pizza, you must first eat it. So now you have the taste of the information, but no pizza. Hence problem solved. As, now there is only one object, the teleported one. Hence, not violating the cloning theorem. Problem solved. Method. But first, you need to know quantum entanglement. In the universe, the angular momentum must stay constant. Hence, if two particles come in existence, their angular momentum must be opposite of, of, of opposite magnitude. This can be proved with some simple algebra. And also, these particles must stay in superposition. That is, they must they must have both plus and minus angular momentum at the same time. Yep, quantum world is strange. This is called quantum entanglement. Now moving on with the method. One of the apple is sweet and one of the guava is crunchy. And the other apple is sour and sweet and the guavas are entangled with each other. Hence the other guava is mushy, that is the opposite of crunchy. There are two boxes, box 1 and box 2. Box 1 contains a sweet apple along with a crunchy guava. Now proceeding into box 2. Box 2 contains the sour and sweet apple along with the mushy guava. Box 1 and box 2 are placed here. A joint measurement is taken of box 1, giving us the common difference of sweet and crunchy as A. From this equation, we can obtain sweet as crunchy plus A. We have A, now we can obtain crunchy as negative mushy, because they are opposite and entangled. With this data, we can obtain apple in sweet form. Similarly, Instead of these names, in quantum physics we use spin. Thanks for watching.